Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little sweater for a baby from zero to three months. It's part of this new baby set that I'm going to show you, which includes the matching little pants with footies and the little bonnet. So stay tuned for these two tutorials. Okay, so I hope you like it and without further say, let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this three millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this light number three baby yarn. I'm using Lion Brand Baby Soft. This is a light number three baby yarn in this white color. Now, to begin, I have 53 chains. This chain here measures about 23 centimeters, which is about nine inches. Okay, so to begin into the second chain from the hook, one, two, right here, I'm going to make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next chain single crochet into the next chain and so on. For this first row, this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to make single crochets and at the end of this first row, I'm going to have a total of 52 single crochets. Continue like this and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of the first row. I have 52 single crochets. Now for the second row, chain one and turn. This chain here does not count as a single crochet. In this row, all we're going to do are single crochets. So on top of the first one, make your first single crochet, single crochet into the next, single crochet into the next, and so on. Continue like this for the second row. At the end of the second row, you're going to have 52 single crochets. I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making the second row. I have 52 single crochets. Now for the third row, we're going to chain three and turn. These three chains counts as your first double crochet. Now in this row, we're going to make V stitches. To make the first V stitch, we're going to skip the first single crochet and into the second, we're going to make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip one single crochet and into the next again, a V stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip one single crochet and into the next, again, a V stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Continue like this all the way to the end. I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I finished the third row and I have a total of 25 V stitches. Now to finish, go on top of the last single crochet here and make a double crochet. Now, for the fourth row, you're going to chain three, turn, and inside each one of these V stitches, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to make them with two chains. So double crochet, two chains, double crochet. Again, into the next, double crochet, two chains, double crochet. Again, into the next, double crochet, two chains, double crochet. This is all we're going to do. Continue like this and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished this fourth row. I have 25 V stitches in here. I just did a double crochet here at the end on top of the third chain. Now for the fifth row, we're going to chain three and turn. Inside each one of these V stitches, you're going to make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. into the next, same thing, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Continue like this all the way to the end. I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished this fifth row. I made a double crochet here at the end on top of the third chain. Now for the sixth row, we're going to chain three and turn. Now for the sixth row, inside each one of these fans, we're going to make a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So we're going to make these V stitches again. Again, inside the next one, same thing, double crochet, two chains, double crochet. Continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this sixth row and I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the sixth row. I still need to make my last double crochet. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to join to the other side, so like this. So this is going to go on top of this side, like this. Now, if you're making this for boys, you're going to do this on top like this. So put this side on top, and here we're going to make a last double crochet. So to do this, 
you're going to yarn over, insert your hook here on top of the third chain right there, and insert your hook on top of this double crochet. See, right there. Insert your hook right there. Grab a loop. Take two loops off. Leave two loops on the hook. Then go on top of the third chain here at the end on this side, right there. Grab a loop and close. See, that's how we're going to join. Now, for the seventh row, you're going to chain three, turn, and into this same stitch right here, you're going to make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. So here we're going to add a fan right there. Now inside each one of these V stitches, you're going to make a double crochet, double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. So here we're going to repeat the row of fans. Again, inside the next V stitch, same thing, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. This is all I'm going to do for this seventh row. So continue like this and I'll meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. I finished this seventh row and I have a total of 26 fans. Now to finish, go here to the side where we have the three chains right there and join with a slip stitch. Now we're going to chain one and turn. Here where we did the slip stitch right there, we're going to make a single crochet right there. And then we're going to work one single crochet for each one of the fans and inside the chain one space. So beginning here, we have a double crochet, so make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next, inside the chain one space, a single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Now for each one of the fans, you're going to have five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and then again, five. Continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this eighth row. Now to finish, go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this eighth row with 130 single crochets. Now for the ninth row, we're going to chain two and turn. The two chains do not count as a stitch. Now into the slip stitch right here, we're going to make our first double crochet. In this row, all we're going to do are double crochets on each one of these single crochets from the previous row, like this. So continue like this. At the end of this ninth row, you should have a total of 130 double crochets, not including the two chains here at the beginning. I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this ninth row. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and finish with a slip stitch. Now, in this row, I have 130 double crochets, not including the two chains. Now, for the tenth row, we're going to chain two, and in this row, we're going to work front post and back post double crochets. If you can't make the front post and the back post double crochets, then just make double crochets all around, just like we did on the previous row. Now, to do the first stitch here, we're going to work into a front post double crochet, the next stitch back post double crochet, front post double crochet, back post double crochet. This is how I'm going to continue so I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this 10th row. This is where we did front post and back post double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now, for the 11th row, we're going to chain two and into the same stitch here where we did the slip stitch, make your first double crochet. For this row, all we're going to do are double crochets all around, like this. Okay, so continue like this for this 11th row. I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of the 11th row. I have 130 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this 11th row. Now, in the next row, we're going to start counting rows because we're going to divide our sleeves. So for the first row, uh, we're going to divide the sleeves. So here, what I have are stitch markers here. So between 
this first stitch and here where I have this first stitch marker, I have 18 stitches. Between this stitch marker and this stitch marker right here, this is going to be one of the sleeves, I have 29 stitches. Between this stitch marker and this stitch marker, I have 36 stitches. And between this stitch marker and this stitch marker here, I have 29 again. And between this stitch marker and this last stitch right there, I have 18. So we have 36 stitches here and then 36 stitches for the front. Okay, so now here, what we're going to do is we're going to chain two, one, two, and into the same stitch here, we're going to make our first double crochet. Then I'm just going to continue until I have a total of 18 double crochets. I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these 18 double crochets, then I chained six. So here I'm going to skip 29 stitches and into the stitch after the stitch marker, which is this one here, I'm going to make a double crochet. Now here, we're going to work these 36 stitches, then I'll meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. Finished making these 36 double crochets, I chained six. And now I'm going to skip 29 double crochets and into the stitch after the stitch marker right here i'm going to make a double crochet now here we're going to finish making these 18 double crochets so i'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making these 18 double crochets now to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now this is how we finish this first row where we divided the sleeve and you should have a total of 72 double crochets so 36 for the front and 18 and 18 here now for the second row we're going to chain two and into the same stitch here i'm going to make a double crochet then double crochet into the next stitch and so on here we're going to make 16 double crochets so i'll meet you right here to show you um, what we're going to do into these last two double crochets and here under the sleeve Okay, I finished making these 16 double crochets. Now into these last two double crochets, we're going to do the following. Into the next double crochet, make two double crochets, one and two. Into the last double crochet, make two double crochets. So here we're going to increase on this side, and then here again, we're going to do the same thing. Now under this sleeve, we have six chains. Into the first chain, make one double crochet, into the second chain make one double crochet into the third chain make two double crochets one and two into the fourth chain make two double crochets one and two and into the fifth make one double crochet and into the sixth chain which is the last one make one chain one double crochet Okay, so this is what we did. We did double crochet into the first chain, double crochet into the second, two double crochets into the third, two double crochets into the fourth, one double crochet into the fifth, and one double crochet into the sixth. Now into these next two double crochets, we're going to do two double crochets into each one. So one and two into the first, into the second, one and two. Now here we're going to continue along and work these double crochets along the front and I will meet you here right before we finish to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these double crochets here. Now I still have two more double crochets. So into the next stitch, we're going to make two double crochets and into the last two double crochets. Now, we have the six chains, so we're going to do the same thing we did on the other side. So into the first chain right here, make one double crochet. Into the second chain, make one double crochet. Into the third, make two double crochets. One, two. Into the fourth, make two double crochets. Into the fifth, make one double crochet. And into the sixth chain, make one double crochet. Right there. One double crochet. And then we have the two um, stitches here at the beginning. So on top of the first, make two double crochets. 
and into the second, make two double crochets. Okay, so now continue and finish this part here, and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 96 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet right here and join with a slip stitch. Now, for the third row, we're going to chain two, and in this row, we're going to work front post and back post double crochets, just like we did here. Now, if you have problems making front post and back post double crochets, you can just continue making double crochets instead. Okay, so this first double crochet here, I'm going to work a front post double crochet, the next one, back post double crochet, next one, front post double crochet, and this is all I'm going to do continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where we worked front post and back post double crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the fourth row, we're going to chain two and into the same stitch here, we're going to make a double crochet. Here, we're going to make a total of 18 double crochets. So I'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 18 double crochets now here. I'm going to add a stitch marker here into this last double crochet that I did because into these next 12 double crochets, I also put a stitch marker right here, we're going to do the following. See, we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 stitches. So make sure you put stitch markers here so that you don't get lost um, as to what I'm going to do next. So here, into these next two double crochets, I'm going to work two double crochets into each one. So into this next one, work two double crochets, into the next two double crochets. Now into the next three double crochets, work one double crochet on each. That's one, two, three, and into the next two, work two double crochets on each one. So one, two, into the next, one, two, and into the next three, one double crochet on each. One, two, three. And into the last two, right here, work two double crochets on each one, two, and then one, and two. And that's what we're going to do here in these 12 stitches. There it is. Okay, so we have here, we have, let's see, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14, 16, 18 stitches right here. So we started with 12 and now we finished with 18. So now here we're going to continue and work one double crochet on each one of these stitches until I come here to these two stitches before we finish. See, this is the last stitch, then we did two double crochets and then we have double crochet, double crochet. So into these two, we're going to do the same thing we did here. So I'm going to keep this stitch marker here so that I can tell you how many stitches are between this stitch marker and um, here where I'm going to finish. Yes, right here. So I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I did 36 double crochets here. I left the stitch marker, so between this stitch marker and this last one that I did, it's 36 double crochets. So now here I'm going to put this stitch marker into the last stitch that we did. And then here into these next 12 stitches, we're going to do the same thing we did on the other side. So into the next two stitches right here, I'm going to make two double crochets on each. So into the first one, make two double crochets, into the next two double crochets, into the next three double crochets, make one double crochet on each. That's one, two, three, and into the next two, two double crochets on each. One, two, and into the next one, two, and into the next three, one double crochet on each. One, two, three, and into the last two, work two double crochets on each. One, two, one, two. And that's it. So here we should have 18 double crochets now. 
So let me count them. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 16, 18. And here we're just going to continue and finish these last 18 double crochets. So I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I have 108 double crochets, not including the two chains. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the fifth row, we're going to chain two and into the same stitch here where I did the slip stitch, make a double crochet double crochet into the next stitch and so on. Here we're going to work 22 double crochets, so I'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 22 double crochets. Now I put a stitch marker here, so between this stitch marker and this other one that I have here, there should be 10 stitches. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So into these next two double crochets, we're going to make two double crochets on each one one and two into the next one and two now into the next let's see one two three four five six stitches we're going to work one double crochet on each so that's one two three four five Six, and into the last two here we're going to work two double crochets on each so that's one and two and into the next one and two and this is how we're going to work these stitches under the sleeve so here we started with 10 so now we should have 14 let's see two four six eight ten twelve fourteen perfect i'm going to leave the stitch marker here so continue along and work these double crochets i'll meet you right about here to show you how we're going to work um, these stitches under the sleeve okay i did a total of 44 double crochets between this stitch marker here and this stitch marker here that i have so we have 44 double crochets and then again i put a stitch marker to mark 10 stitches two four six eight ten and then i added a stitch marker so between these two stitch markers there's 10 stitches and then i did the exact same thing i did here i did into these next two i did two double crochets on each and then into the next six i worked one double crochet on each one two three four five six and then i finished with these last two double crochets by making two double crochets on each and that's what i did here under the sleeve which is the exact same thing we did here so now to finish we're just going to finish working these 22 double crochets so into the next stitch marker here make a double crochet double crochet into the next and so on and finish here with these last 22 double crochets i'll meet you at the end of this fifth row to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at the end of this fifth row. I have 116 double crochets. If you're off by one, two, or three stitches, more or less, it's okay. Just continue and go to the top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the sixth row, we're going to chain two. In this row, all we're going to do are double crochets all around. We're not going to make any more increases. So beginning here into the same stitch, I did the slip stitch, make your first double crochet, then double crochet into the next, double crochet into the next, and so on. At the end of this sixth row, you should have a total of 116 double crochets, or if you had less or more, just uh, finish this row and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this sixth row. I have 116 double crochets. To finish this row and all the rows to follow, you're just going to go to the top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the seventh row, we're going to chain two. In this seventh row, we now need to make the row where we make front post and back post double crochets. I'm doing the row of front post and back post double crochets every fourth row so we're going to work three rows of double crochets just like we did here and then the fourth row is going to be your front post and back post double crochet so to do this in this row this first stitch here i i did two chains this first stitch here we're going to work into front post double crochet the next one back post double crochet the next one front post double crochet the next one back post double crochet and so on when you finish this row, you're going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch 
chain two, and then repeat three rows of double crochets, just like we did here. And remember that at the end of every row of your double crochet row, you're always going to have 116 double crochets, and the same for the row of front post and back post double crochets. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I did a total of 19 rows, so beginning here where we divided the sleeves, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. My last row here was the row where we do front post and back post double crochets, and then I did one row of single crochets. Um, here I just cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and this part here is done and it's measuring from the top of the neckline down to this last row of single crochets it measures 9.25 inches which is about 23 centimeters now as you can see I've already done one of the sleeves so now I'm going to show you how to do it here um, it's going to be done in the same way so right in the very center right here I have five stitches on this side and five stitches on this side I'm going to insert my hook there, grab a loop like this, bring it through the front, chain two, one, two, and into the same stitch here, make a double crochet. Now we're going to skip one, two, and into the next space, we're going to make a double crochet. Again, skip one, two, and into the next stitch, make a double crochet. So we have one, two, three, now here, yarn over and then insert your hook right here we're going to skip one double crochet so into this gap there grab a loop take two loops off yarn over then we have this double crochet this is a double crochet that's right across right there insert your hook there grab a loop take two loops off three loops on the hook close this is a stitch reduction which counts as one double crochet now here we're just going to make one double crochet into the same stitch where we have this double crochet so right there make a double crochet then double crochet into the next and so on from here you're just going to work double crochets all around the sleeve so continue like this for this first row and I'll meet you let's see right about here right before we finish to show you how we're going to finish this first row Okay, I'm here at this other side of the sleeve. I have 35 stitches up to here. Now into this next stitch right here, this is a double crochet, insert your hook there, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, and then right here, right there into that very corner, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close, and then here I'm going to work a double crochet between these two double crochets and then I'm going to skip two double crochets and then here I'm going to make a double crochet. See like this. So we have 35, 36, 37, 38 double crochets. Now to finish this first row, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the second row, chain two and into the same stitch here, make a double crochet. For this second row, this is all we're going to do. We're just going to make double crochets all around and we're going to finish with 38 double crochets. So continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this second row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. I have 38 double crochets up to here. From now on, we're always going to have 38 stitches. Now to finish the second row, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the third row, we're going to chain two. And here, since I already had a row of double crochets around the yoke, we have three rows already of double crochets. So in this third row, I'm going to work the row of front post and back post double crochets. So beginning here, this first double crochet, I'm going to work a front post double crochet. The next one, I'm going to make a back post double crochet, then front post double crochet, then back post double crochet. Okay, and then again, if you have problems making this stitch, the front post and back post double crochets, then just make double crochets all around. Continue like this for this third row. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row where I did front post and back post double crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. 
Now for the fourth row, we're going to chain two and into the same stitch here, we're, we're going to make a double crochet, double crochet into the next, double crochet into the next, and so on. For this row, this is all we're going to do. We're just going to work double crochets all around. When you finish, you're going to join here to the beginning where we have the first double crochet with a slip stitch, chain two, and then repeat again, two more rows of um, double crochets. And then the fourth row, you're going to do the front post and back post double crochets. It's the exact same thing we did here when we were working this part. So continue like this and I'll meet you um, at the end of the 14th row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 14th row. So in total, I did 14 rows. So here's the first row. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 rows. This last row that I did is the third row of these um, double crochet rows that we always do. So now here, what we're going to do is we're going to chain one. Here, we're going to work this part of the sleeve. So chain one and here, Instead of working front post double crochets and back post double crochets, we're going to work front post and back post half double crochets. So yarn over into this first double crochet, insert your hook like this, grab a loop, close. Okay, again, the next one, back post, half double crochet. The next one, front post, half double crochet. Next one, back post, half double crochet. Next one, front post, half double crochet. Now, if you have problems making these half double crochets and prefer to make double crochets, then only make two rows. Um, if you want to only make single crochets, you can do that as well. Just make single crochets all around and reduce one stitch for, eight, for every row. Okay, so continue like this. When you finish this row, just join here to the side where we have this chain right there, chain one, and then repeat the same row two more times so that we have a total of three rows here. I'll meet you once this part here is done to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making the third row here of front post and back post half double crochets. Then I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and then pass my yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done, so the sleeve is done. Now, you're going to do the exact same thing you did here on this other side, which is what I did. And this part here is done, that's what it looks like. So now, I'm going to show you what we need to do here in the back. Here in the back, we left this gap here open. Um, I'm going to add a little button here, here on this side. This is going to be the side of the buttonholes. I'm making this um, unisex, so really it doesn't matter. I'm just going to make it as if it's for girls. So, because that is the way how I joined here on this other side. So here, I already did this side. I didn't show you this part because it's very easy. All I did was single crochets here and then came back and did another row single crochet. So it's two rows there, single crochets. Here at the top, I just chain one, turn, and then came back down. And then I um, finished here by attaching this end here to this um, stitch right here so that it looks like this, so that it, it will overlap um, with this other side. So here, to do this other side, this is where we're going to do the buttonholes. Here, I'm going to grab this loop here going to make a loop actually like this and here what we're going to do is right here this is this row of double crochets right there I'm going to grab this loop chain one and then into the same stitch here make two single crochets one and two here on this side I did nine single crochets and then nine single crochets going down Okay, so here we have two into the next, make two, that's four into the next, five and six into this row, that's seven into the next row, that's eight, and then this row of chains, one last one. Okay, so that's eight single crochets, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, did I do nine? Let's see, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, so nine stitches here. Same thing on the other side. Now, chain one, turn. Now here, go into the first single crochet here, make a single crochet, chain one, skip one single crochet, and into the next, make a single crochet. So, so here's my buttonhole. The button that I'm going to use is very small, so I only need one chain there. And then continue going down, just working single crochets, 
until you come to the first one like this this is exactly what I did on the other side minus the buttonhole so this is the last one here now we're going to let's see I'm going to turn this like this now I need to somehow attach this to this side here so that it, it's not flopping around and it looks nice and pretty so here I'm going to just go into this stitch right here grab this loop bring it through the front like this grab a loop again and just pass this loop through this last stitch like this and that's all we need to do there and that's what it looks like so this part here is done this stitch here is a chain and it keeps opening so I'm going to fix that so I'm going to add my button and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like uh, once this part here is all done okay so here's my finished sweater this is what it looks like this is the front these are the sleeves and this is the bottom now let me show you the back this is the back um, I added the button there and here what I did around the yoke is I did a chain I think I did about a hundred chains and then I just weaved it here starting in the back through this row of front post and back post double crochets and then I just weaved it all around the chains that were left over all I did was I undid them and then I joined to the first chain with a slip stitch and then just cut my yarn and then pass my yarn through that last loop and that's all I did for this part there so the little sweater is all done I think it turned out super super cute I think I'm also going to go ahead and make the little cardigan version using the same um, yoke pattern like this one here so stay tuned for that as well I also did the matching baby pants these here have little footies I know many of you have asked me to do that so here they are okay so this has been today's tutorial I hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time